What's going on guys, Ponyline here. Today I wanted to go ahead and make a general overview video. The reason for this is that the Battlefield 1 open beta will be many people's first time playing the Battlefield franchise. There's also the case that a lot of people have played the past Battlefields but don't know how the current vehicle system works. So this video is going to be focused on the vehicle loadout system, how you should choose your vehicle, and maybe which loadout will be the proper loadout for you to use. So let's go ahead and break down into this. To start with, when you're in the deploy screen, you're going to notice different icons that are going to be represented in your home deployment screen at the start of every round. These icons are going to represent the different vehicles that you're going to be able to choose from. Generally speaking, since during the beta, the Sinai Desert is going to be the only map available, we're just going to be covering what you're going to find on this map in particular. So from the spawn deploy screen, you're going to notice at the beginning of every round, there's going to be two horses available, there's going to be two tanks available, and three planes available. Now, of course, there's also going to be some vehicles such as just uh, transportation vehicles that will be in the spawn, but you'll just have to spawn and run to the vehicle to actually get into those. During the process of a round, when more flags such as E are captured, you're going to notice that there's going to be more vehicles for you to choose from. When you see that there's a vehicle that you'd like to spawn on, all you need to do is click that icon. Once you've clicked the icon, you do not need to feel like you are in a rush to actually go ahead and deploy on that vehicle. You can actually take your time and choose the proper loadout for you to use. And that's what we're going to be discussing about during this video. Once you have chosen your icon, there's two different ways that you can go ahead and choose your loadout for your vehicle. One is to go through the customize screen, which is very useful if you want to get a breakdown on what your loadout is capable of doing. The second option, which is the faster option, is from the deploy screen itself. You will see the vehicle icon at the bottom middle of your screen where you'll be able to select it and then from there you can choose which loadout you will want. Now of course there's not going to be a description for the vehicle, but if you already know the loadout systems and how they work, it is the fastest option for you to go ahead and choose. With the deploy screen being covered, I'm going to go ahead and break down into each of the individual class loadouts to give a brief overview, starting with the tanks. Once the tank icon is selected, you're going to notice that there's three different types of tanks that you can choose from. The light tank, the land ship tank, and the heavy tank each serve their own purpose when fighting on the battlefield. As this is more of an entry-level overview for the vehicle setup, I'm not going to go into detail about all the different loadouts. My suggestion is to go ahead into the customize screen under each loadout once you find out what kind of vehicle you want to use and find the perfect fit for you. To start with, the light tank is meant more as a solo play where you're able to go in, fight infantry, be very maneuverable, as well as be able to help support with vehicles and be long, medium, or close range option. The second type of tank is the landship tank. The landship tank is meant for you to be able to support your gunners. You are there as a driver to be able to line up your gunners to be able to take down other tanks as well as infantry. The third tank option is the heavy tank. Unlike the landship tank, the heavy tank comes with more seats. It's meant more for your gunners to be able to support you as the driver of the tank. It can take more damage as well as dish out more damage than the other tanks. During the beta, they added another vehicle to the tank class, and that would be the artillery truck. It's meant to be a medium and long range option where you as the driver are able to switch to a secondary seat and shoot a long range projectile. The second vehicle icon to be covered will be the planes. As with the tanks, there are multiple different types of planes that you can choose from. The first will be the fighter plane. The fighter plane is the lighter, more maneuverable option of the planes. It is meant to engage with aerial vehicles first, and then infantry and lighter vehicles second. The second type of plane is the attack plane. The attack plane is meant to be a hybrid where you have a gunner and are able to attack both the ground and aerial targets as well. It is a slower, heavier option. The third type of plane is the bomber plane where you get two gunners, one in the front and one in the back. It is a very slow moving vehicle. It is not meant to engage with air, but is primarily meant to be able to bomb targets on the ground. The last vehicle icon I'm going to cover in this video will be the horses. The horse is one of the new vehicles that was added in during the beta. It gives you the option to have a rifle as your primary weapon and a sword as a secondary. That way you're able to engage both medium, long, and close range. It is a very maneuverable option and is especially effective during the sandstorm. This basically covers all the information I wanted to go ahead and cover for an entry level vehicle loadout tutorial for you guys. Hope you guys found the information useful. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask in the comment section. And if you want more videos like this, please let me know. Have a great day, guys.